briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1937, a legal battle, Gorton v. Doty, reached the Idaho Supreme Court, pitting a father and his son against a high school football coach in a case questioning who can be held responsible for the actions of others. The lawsuit revolved around an accident which left the young football player injured and in need of medical attention. The crucial aspect of the case was determining if a coach, driving a car owned by another person, could be considered an agent of that person at the time of the accident. The incident took place in September 1934, with Richard Gorton, a junior at Soda Springs High School and member of its football team, seriously injured in an accident. Russell Garst, the team's coach, was driving a car owned by the appellant, also a teacher at the same school, transporting the team for their game against Paris High School. When tragedy struck, the once routine journey turned into a disputed legal matter. In the proceedings that followed, both Gorton, represented by his father, and his father separately sought compensation. The former was looking to cover the costs incurred due to hospitalization and seek damages for the injuries sustained in the accident, while the latter wished to recuperate the medical fees. With a jury awarding the Gortons $870 in one case and $5,000 in the other, the appellant sought to challenge these decisions with motions for a new trial. After reviewing the case and motions for appeal, the court affirmed the lower court's rulings, upholding the jury's award for both cases. The decisions were anchored on the principle of agency, that the coach was acting as an agent for the car's owner at the time of the accident. While the appellant tried to argue that Gorton, a passenger, was aware of the apparent hazard, the court found no substantial evidence of Gorton's contributory negligence or appellant's gross negligence. In the end, the jury, based on their sound judgment, held that the awarded damages were not excessive, given the estimated extent of Gorton's injuries and the endured and future pain. The court ended up denying the appellant's petition for reconsideration, throwing out any remaining attempts to absolve the car's owner of responsibility, and leaving the Gortons to recover their damages, as originally awarded. Undoubtedly, Gorton v. Doty remains a powerful precedent in cases involving the principle of agency. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.